One Piece, Two Legends, OPO8. OPO8, this is, this is One Piece set eight. The set's called Two Legends, and this is my weekly double booster box strip of Thanks for coming by, check it out. This set, uh, I've been talking about making YouTube content. I thought it would be cool, you know, for some aspiring YouTube content creators, because YouTube content creators do so much for games. They really, really help. I mean, when, when Penguin Zero or uh, Moist Critical started making videos, I think that was like probably the most helpful thing that for this game in the history of it ever, um, bless them. So, you know, be it, be the ne become the next Moist Critical. But as I said, I don't think that's really the reason to make content. I think it's just if you're passionate about it and you wanna have fun, that's the reason to make content. But last week we started talking about my method. So what I do to get my weekly videos is every week, and we already open the treasure of Luffy, so there's no more Luffy's we're pulling from this whole case, sad. Um, but every set, I open a case, two boxes at a time, and I record those two box openings. That's why my shirt never changes, my haircut stays the same, and my facial hair doesn't change for six weeks is because I'm actually recording all these videos at once. I sit here and I open the whole case. I do two videos at a time. Please be Chopper, please be Chopper, please be Carrot is a good looking leader also. So that's fine, but we need a Chopper to collect to finish our set. I want one of every one. I'm in my new studio and I love it. Anyway, I've opened the case. I do two videos at a time. That's why my facial hair and my, my hair cut and my t-shirt doesn't change. It's because for this set, ooh, Pedro, I have not pulled this yet. This art is sick. I did pull this in Japanese actually, but I didn't record my Japanese opening. I just recorded and did it for myself to have some fun because I didn't want to do the work and I was exhausted. And it's like that sometimes. They made some great holographic decisions. I like that the cape is holographic. I like the details that are holographic. I like that the tip of the cigarette is holographic. Very nice, very nice work. I would have made his yellow eye holographic. That's my only, my only change I would have made. But we got two Minx cards in one box. Are we gonna get another alt art? Could it be? Would, it, that, would that be too crazy? Who knows? Anyway, so I record my, my six videos, right? Two boxes at a time. Because I feel like the way that I open packs, I don't go through every single card. So I finish opening a box in like three or four minutes. And and I, personally, when I watch box opening videos, like I really just want to see the hits. I'll be honest. And and I don't couldn't tell you the last time I watched a YouTube video. Oh yeah, I wanted to pull this guy, Kaido. This part is sick. Just to show it, you know? I, I don't know if this is a card I would truly play, but his tattoo just looks so sick. And he's like got an eye closed, almost looks like he's missing an eye for whatever reason, I don't know, but this card goes hard. This card goes really, 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 really intensely hard. Kaido Daddy. But that's it, it's a three hit box. That's big win, that's a big win because half of the boxes in this case are double hit boxes, which sucks eggs. And that's a really good one because we got an alt art leader and two alt arts. That is really nice. I think the, I think in the last case I opened a treasure rare Luffy with an SP and a secret. That was, that was a pretty cool box. But um, yeah, so I think, you know, doing content uh, is a grind and at this point in my life it's it's not a priority for me um, it's something that I enjoy doing I feel that I had a hand in cultivating this community because I was the first person to make one piece card game videos um, I was talking about this game long before it came out I was hypothesizing about it I um, I feel like there was an amount of manifestation that I played into the existence of this game. So I feel a responsibility to the community. Um, that's really what keeps me in making content because honestly, I wouldn't keep doing it. Oh, and it's also a great place for me to advertise Kaizoku cards. So I don't know if you've seen my cards, but I make these cards. This is a Rob Lucci leader. I think Rob Lucci is very good in this set because it now has access to Jack, which is an insane card. Um, but you can check out kaizokucards.com. That's my website. I make uh, custom leaders mostly. I make some Dawn sets as well. This is my one of my Luchi leaders. I, I very much like this one. 
Uh, but it really helps me out. I just moved to this new studio. I got a new office space and I gotta pay my mortgage. So if you wanna buy some shiny cards from me, it helps me keep this channel alive and keep getting stuff to shrip them. Cause I do love shrimping. Um, but anyway, as I was saying, uh, oh, is this the uh, Dawn? Uh, every set, I just get all my content done in a day, pretty much. Or for each case, there's a really what a bummer. That card, that card does not look good. I do like, I do like the alt art. The alt art, I can get down with. I think the background of the alt art looks cool. Um, but yeah, I think, uh, I think, I. I think that making content for this, I really enjoy the community. You know, I was gone for a little, I took a little break there while I was kind of moving and getting stuff sorted. I just totally didn't have time to make content and I was kind of skipping on the Japanese set eight. I didn't really care that much to open it. And I'm, honestly, I don't care that much for the English set either. The Treasure Rare Luffy is awesome. I got two, so I'm feeling very, very blessed. And actually the day that I'm recording this, so this will come out in three weeks from today, but I am doing a live stream tonight. So hopefully I can pull a third one in the live stream. So we're gonna open a case of OPO8 and OPO9. Big Mom! Wow, look at that Lin Lin. That's a big old Lin Lin, I gotta say. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll be doing a case opening tonight. Hopefully we're gonna learn. Whoops, just dropped a bunch of cards. Whoopsie daisy. And it's very likely actually that this is gonna be a two hit box because I think, yeah, it's like, it's like pretty close to, no, it's more likely, actually the odds are in our favor that it will be a three hit box. And we haven't pulled any SPs yet. And I think we pulled two liters. So there's gonna be six boxes left after this for the next coming week's videos. Um, but yeah, I, I bang out all my videos, I get them done. And then once a week I edit my videos and I use Premiere Pro to edit my videos. I put all of my content after I record it into folders. I organize all of it. I make six folders. OPO8 did one, two, three, four, five, six. I drop my three files in and I'm gonna explain how I edit my videos next week. I'm a dentist. I can't end without a dental tooth tip. Uh, so my dental tooth tip to you would be make sure that you have a good hygiene routine. It doesn't matter if you get a bunch of dental work done. That dental work is all gonna fail if you don't have a good hygiene routine. So, you know, I really recommend a power brush. I think it makes a huge difference. And floss every day. If you can't get yourself to floss, use like a water flosser or shower flosser. Do something to irrigate, get the space between your teeth. And that's really the backbone to having healthy teeth. Thanks for coming by and I'll see y'all in the next one.